Hi, this is Paula J, uh, delivering Cybersecurity Talk uh, within Secure Academy. And uh, what this series are about uh, is about interviewing the most prominent uh, people and the best people in IT industry uh, that uh, have a lot of experience and they have a lot of experience to share with us. And uh, well, if you want to gain more knowledge, uh, that's absolutely the place to be. Uh, today I have with me Oli Mead. Hi. Hi, Paula. How is it going? Great, great. great. Enjoying it here. Absolutely, thank you so much. So a couple of words uh, about Wally. I'm pretty sure that uh, if you are interested in deployment, you've seen Wally speaking before at the various various conferences, but Wally is a principal program manager at Saracen and uh, he's also engaged in different kinds of blogs, forums, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do, what, what, can, you, can you give uh, our, our listeners what will be the blog? Yeah, I used to do a lot on the TechNet forums, but now I primarily work on our Cyrus, and we have our own community site, which is kind of like a TechNet forum, um, but it's at cyrus.com. You can get to the community from there. Um, and I help answer questions on our internal products for the customers, as well as configuration management questions. Okay. And then we have a blog from cyrus.com as well. That's cool. And Twitter? Do you tweet? Yeah. Um, I have a Twitter account, at Wally underscore Mead. Okay, that's great. So you, sh you should guys definitely check out. And as far as I know, you've been uh, 20, 22 years at Microsoft, right? 22 years at Microsoft, where I started with um, SMS before it was called SMS. Okay, so yeah. in the first initial stages of SMS 1.0, all the way up through Configuration Manager 2012 R2, I think is when I left. So you got the knowledge directly from the source? Um, I had very good access to the source, yes. Yes, yeah. very good access to the source. Do you still cooperate closely with the Microsoft guys? I do. I um, have lunch with a number of them occasionally because I still live in the Red Bend area. Okay. Um, so I get to meet with them and, and they're very kind to answer my questions by email still. So That's perfect, yeah. yes. So, so well, um, today I've got a couple of disturbing questions about Config Manager. Oh, it's uh, disturbing. Yeah. <laughs> so the so question is, um, how often do you see security being part of uh, deployments with, with Config Manager or in general? Yeah, with um, Configuration Manager, most people don't think about Configuration Manager as a security tool. Uh, but there's a couple different ways you can look at it. One is you have to secure your environment itself. Mm -hmm. So the product group has done a very good job of making sure that Configuration Manager itself is secure. Mm -hmm. um, for example, when there's different configuration settings, they always go with the most secure setting by default and then let the administrator opt out to change that if they want to. Um, and then they architect it to try and be as secure as possible, making sure that the administrators have rights to only do what they need to do in the mm -hmm. console. More importantly, what people usually think about Configuration Manager is how they can use it to help secure their environment. Mm -hmm. And traditionally, the most common thing that people think about Configuration Manager in that aspect is deploying security patches. Okay. It has been great for a number of years to be the mechanism to keep your Windows environment up to date. Yeah. With identification of security patches, downloading them, preparing them, and then getting them delivered out to your clients according to your administrator settings. Mm, well, from our side, we see a lot of companies that, uh, for example, have a configuration manager, but uh, they're not that much up to date. Uh, yeah. Is it very difficult to manage this? Uh, if they put the time and effort into it, it, configuration manager actually has a really cool feature called automatic deployment rules, mm -hmm. which are basically an enhancement on WSUS um, automatic deployment rules or whatever they call them, mm -hmm. automatic approvals, um, that will help automate the process. So once you configure your rules, configuration manager will automatically find the updates that are mm -hmm. appropriate, download them for you, package them up, and then create the deployment to get them out there. Yeah. So it's really the investment you have to prepare those rules the way you want them, mm -hmm. to get the updates downloaded and deployed as you want, and then just do your monitoring from, from there. So I guess like uh, being an administrator in a company, having a lot of stuff to do, that's not really the task that you are able daily to spend your time. Right. Maybe that's the problem come, where, where the problem comes from, right? Right, and that's where the automatic deployment rules really help, because they can help automate that and get you so that you can now start concentrating on other aspects of your environment without having to worry about your day-to-day -day security needs. What would be like your, your prediction for the time that has to be spent, for example, daily to take care about that process in a company? Um, honestly, not much. It, it's, if you don't keep up to date as you're commenting on other mm -hmm. customers that you see, then it's a, it's a big struggle mm -hmm. because the world is evolving daily as far as security issues. Yeah and trying to keep up to date, then it gets to be much more of a pain. And then you want to try and get antivirus software out there, anti-malware, you want to try and secure your desktop, you want to secure your mobile devices. Mm -hmm. All those things jump into play and then they distract from keeping things up to date and getting everything implemented the way you want. So you try and 
most people try and tackle the thing that's high on their minds or what the CEO says, hey, you got to make sure you do this. Mm -hmm. They'll focus their energies on that. Then when they find spare time, they'll jump onto something else. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah. Uh, what about the system center endpoint protection? Because uh, I found found that like that particular solution is a pretty cool um, tool that you can use for vulnerability management. Mm -hmm. So yeah. what do you think about this one? Yeah, it's very good. When we first created that in Configuration Manager and started implementing it, most people didn't use it, but it's mm -hmm. primarily because of, not because of lack of features, it was more that they already had a contract, a license with a third-party vendor, mm -hmm. uh, whether McAfee or Symantec or whoever, and they already had spent their hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars on that, and they wanted to finish off what they had. Mm -hmm. So once they're license was expiring, then they would go and look at the free solution from Microsoft mm -hmm. that integrates great with Config Manager, and they would do a comparison, and wow, it does essentially the same thing, and I can get it for free yeah. versus spending hundreds of thousands of dollars a year. Yeah. Then they would start migrating over and find out, hey, it does the exact same thing that the other guy did. And gives me better reporting because it's built into the console with Configuration Manager. Yeah, definitely. There, there are many types of tools that are out there that you have to pay for additionally that are performing the software scanning and the version mm -hmm. analysis and so on. And all, all that stuff can be done within the Config Manager, right? Right, right. And Config Manager, um, just about every release, they add new settings to endpoint protection to help control or identify more malware as well as give you more administrative controls over what you do when the agent finds something it's not sure what to do with. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, cool. And what about the, the security features that uh, are introduced in the newest release of Config Manager? Is there something valuable from the company's perspective? To look well, at? there's a lot of things. Um, I just did a session yesterday and all the things that have happened in current branch since it released. Mm -hmm. And a lot of those were security related. Um, it, especially the world is going mobile now. Mm -hmm. And as you start integrating with Microsoft Intune into Config Manager, there's a lot of settings in there to help you lock down your mobile devices. Mm -hmm. That's one of the first things people want to do is when they want to bring their mobile devices in, they want to get access to email, but the company wants to secure that. So you start locking down the device, so you have to have specific PIN requirements or password resets or whatever it is. So those are great capabilities in Configuration Manager to lock down those mobile devices, mm -hmm. but they're starting to carry that through to the desktop platforms with conditional access. So you can't mm -hmm. get access to your email until your PC meets certain requirements that the administrator has set for you. Mm -hmm. um, there's Windows 10, a lot of integration there with them, managing the updates of Windows 10, um, creating servicing plans and servicing rings to help get new builds of Windows 10, which can be more secure by default, mm -hmm. deployed out to appropriate pockets of environments or users, meaning your collections, at designated time periods. Integration with Windows Advanced Threat Protection. Oh, okay. So the you know, endpoint protection is great to keep things from happening, yeah. but if something does happen, then Advanced Threat Protection helps you identify what did happen and mm -hmm. figure out how to prevent it going in the for in future. So mm -hmm. a lot of cool things happening there. Uh, upgrade analytics, as well as a lot of new dashboards in the console to make the information you're getting from Config Manager mm -hmm more readily accessible to those that really need it, such as management who doesn't want to look at statistics in a chart. They want to see a graph that's yeah, pretty. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, uh, like, does it look the same like in OMS? Yeah, mm -hmm. so, yeah, so yeah. like the, that's a pretty graph where Correct. you were, yes. Well, for, for management. Um, yeah, I, actually I was on a meeting with, uh, when there was uh, the management and I was showing, I was showing uh, some part of this because uh, we had some security project to do. And this is something that they really loved. Because it's pretty. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty, right, right. it's meaningful, and for them it's like, oh, all green, so. Yeah, you're right, right. <laughs> they look at the red, red versus green and yellow, yes. Yeah. Um, another cool thing that Config Manager has done over the last couple of releases, specifically the last one, mm -hmm. was in the area of patching, they have a new feature called server groups. Mm -hmm. So the ability of, in essence, taking a collection of clients, which could be desktops or laptops or servers, mm -hmm. and treating them as a cluster mm -hmm. so that you can control the patching order of them. Mm -hmm. So I want to make sure that my domain controller gets patched first, then it's my site server, then it's my IS web server, then it's whatever other. Mm -hmm. But you can control the order of those, and it will only move to one after the previous one's finished. Yeah. Completing. So you have a lot more control over how the patching process happens in Configuration Manager now. Yeah, that, that's definitely something um, that, that companies should look at because, uh, as I said, we often see within the penetration test, for example, that there is System Center mm -hmm. and they've got it. So it's like they are halfway to the success, right? right? right. But, but then they are not doing anything with it because it's so difficult for, right. for people that are like performing regular administration and they simply have no time. Right, yeah? right. And all these products there, they got tons of power to them. Mm -hmm. as you state, but um, they do take a little while for the learning curve to get up to speed with them to figure out how to implement this solution that you want, get my environment more secure, 
You can easily do that. It just takes a little bit of time and effort to get there. So I, w I would, uh, well, correct me if I'm wrong, but I would say that the easiest way to uh, keep it rolling is to just an invite a super specialist so that is going to do this for you. Because uh, then someone comes over, analyze, uh, analyzes your environment. It's like, mm -hmm. okay, rules going to be like this. Right. Then you just uh, guys move forward. Yeah. Uh, besides like just keeping system center doing nothing within the company, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you may need to go to either training to get yourself up to speed, which is great. Mm -hmm. But if you don't have that opportunity, their time or whatever, mm -hmm. then certainly getting a consulting company in there that can help you with that, that has the expertise, that can easily do your analysis of what your curtain solution looks like, mm -hmm. where your gaps are, then help you implement what those remediation schemes are to get you to where you need to be. And that's what you guys do? We can do that, yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, cool. So, uh, two more questions that are more from the soft area. Uh, the first question is, uh, if, if someone is like young in, in the industry and they're like, okay, we want to do a deployments, they work in the enterprise, they just start their career, what are the, what is the skill set do you think that this person should have in order to just start, jump to the field and so on? Uh, well, if they're a young, new person, then they probably got a lot of the skill set, which is mobile, because yeah. uh, they live on their mobile devices all day long, and that's the way the world's going. So they got a great start there. But as far as the rest and configuration manager space, um, it's spending some time with the solution, again, whether it's training or whether it's um, attending a training class or self-learning on the TechNet Virtual Labs or Microsoft Virtual Academy sessions that they have out there. You need to spend time to learn the solution because it is very complicated. I was there for 22 years and I still don't understand everything about Configuration oh, Manager. Okay. <laughs> so nobody does. So don't get your hopes up that you're going to get there because nobody is going to ever get there. Um, it just takes a while, a long time. Plus, they release new versions every four months now yeah. and things change every single release. Every so time, right? it takes a long time. So you just got to be patient, um, take small chunks, mm -hmm. bite off those small chunks get to the point where you're comfortable in mastering one of them, then move on to the next area. Oh, sure. And what about the guys that have uh, already a lot of experience in the infrastructure? Like, for example, administrators that want to master uh, application compatibility, etc. What would you advise to them? Uh, yeah, that's kind of the same as the new guys, just that you've got more of the background behind Configuration Manager or whatever your other solution is. So now it's just a matter of delving into this new area, um, but it's going to be easier for you because you've already got the background in what the solution can do for you. So now it's just a matter of picking up applications versus packages or picking up endpoint protection from your old solution that you had. Um, you've already got the background, the knowledge, it's just a matter of now the specific implementation details for this one solution. Mm -hmm. So it's just taking the time and devoting um, the effort to acquiring some new knowledge and mm -hmm. getting to a point where you feel like you've mastered it. Yeah, perfect. Thank you so much. So, so a couple of uh, words uh, re regarding summary. So today we have talked about um, the possibility of implementing security within the config manager so that we can do the deployments with the different kinds of security settings. Uh, we have talked about the new features, the new security features that are out there in the newest release of a config manager and also endpoint protection as a pretty cool way to perform the uh, vulnerability assessment, if I could uh, describe yeah, it yeah. this way, to be able to analyze different types of versions of applications and if there's something wrong, we'll be able to immediately spot that and eventually uh, deploy the updates for the versions that are already um, outdated. Um, so this was the, this was the um, little summary. Uh, well, thank you so much You're for, welcome, for being part of this uh, interview. It was very insightful. I, I hope uh, that, uh, guys, you will like it too. And uh, if you've got some questions uh, to Wally, to myself, regarding this interview, make sure that you're going to post them in the comment section below and uh, click on the link to see the blog post related with the interview. And uh, see you next time. Yeah. Thanks.